first half. And here we go. Second half. A high floating throw from the borough to give us the first look at whether we found an adjustment. Plenty of time for the Glassboro defense to get set up. Let's see if Boston can start that movement. It's an interesting composition of players on the Boston teams. They mainly come from the teams around the Boston area, the, the college teams, but it is it is a club. Contrast with the Glassboro squad, which is mainly made up of college students at Glassboro and recent graduates. Some of them are working. The captain's a fourth grade teacher. Timba, I guess it's Mr. Timba. Boston is being careful here, keeping control. Does we had a traveling call. Does Boston typically use stick on on offense up in front, handling the disc? What generally we see on the Boston team is a pretty well-rounded offense. Uh, people will move from the from the backfield to uh, more offensive targets, um, pretty much all around the team. Nobody is strictly in the backfield or up front. I, I'm surprised because I, I really hadn't seen him play much this year. And early in the going in the preliminary rounds, I'd seen that he was mostly receiver, working uh, working the flats and deep. And and now they do have him handling the disc a good bit. He's proven himself to be a fine disc handler and uh, quite useful in the backfield. Woo! Nice catch by Jim Herrick there. Amazing athlete. I, I think everyone that, that's been here has agreed that the Glassboro conditioning is unparalleled in the tournament. They have a very large squad, but they they seem to be in incredible shape. I just I really don't see. Nice oh, goal by goal. Hampshire there. Leif Larson to Hunter McKay. Two former Hampshire College players. That's a key goal. We're tied up at eight all at the beginning of the second half. That was a lot of control. As I was saying, it, it's just amazing to me that the borough can keep the level of intensity that they do through a whole game. I, I wonder how they do it. Well, some of it's got to be uh, the size of the squad they have with them. No question about it. <laughs> Keep the defensive pressure on Glassboro now. They have the throw up, and Glassboro receiving. Frankie Bono with possession. To Timba, back to Frank Bono. Pretty cut. Forced. Boston gets possession. I think that was a breakdown on one of the cuts. They they do have typical patterns and routes that they run, and I think a, a runner just broke down on a route. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of scattered offensive movement when Glassboro gets the disc. Uh, they're looking for key players, and it, they can't mess up on those cuts. There's that penetration we're talking about. Did, they stretched it back, dropped over the top, and then made a penetration. And again, twice. Out to the flank, no one covering. They're working it around that zone and keeping that zone shifting, looking for the strike. That's what they have to do. Herrick's still open on the flank. If they want to go there, front man will have to drop back. Middle man can't slide over. Out to Herrick. Front man's up again. Again, they're still forcing him in towards the middle. Nice defensive play there. Glassboro gains possession. 
That was nice work by the middleman. Letting the passing lane open, then coming in and closing it off when he's tempted to throw into the area. Timber with a lot of great hustle there. Brian Ecker. I'm really impressed with Brian's development in this short time. All right, he threw in away there, though. That was a really delicate pass. Sidearm arching up over a lot of players right against the sideline. This is interesting the way Glasper is not coming back to the outlet man, but rather staying back, letting him essentially unguarded, but closing off all the receivers. A long pass across and a great breakup. Brian making up for his bad throw, turning it around. Boston's not giving him much here. Again, we have a 15 second limit on this. And, and Timba to Frankie Bono. For those of you who have just joined us, we're here at the 1980 World Ultimate Championships. We have Boston Aerodist receiving the disc now in the pull off from Glassboro State College. The score is nine to eight Glassboro. Boston's working against the Glassboro zone defense quite well here. They have some new fronts in now. They look a bit fresher, making it a little difficult to make that overpass. The man, they'll be moving the position that they need. Yeah, as you're pointing out, Dan, those front men on the Glassboro zone are key. They have to do a lot of quick running to get that zone set up on every throw. A lot of teams experiment with the zone, but they find it so difficult to execute that they give it up pretty quickly. Actually, I would guess that less than 5% of the active teams in the country, which number over 500, actually use the zone defense. There's the turnover. That was a nice throw by Glassboro. They are using the whole size of the field really effectively. More than we've ever seen them do in the past. Nice working, very crisp passing. A lot of sidearm throws. Here's another sidearm. Boston's using, as we mentioned before, that man-on-man -man defense. It's very hard to keep that uh, pressure on there and consistent. Glassboro seems to have some space to move. And, a, and another score by Glassboro. Score is 10-8, Glassboro. That went to Brickett. Quite a nice score with an almost a, a defensive gem from Herrick on the an over commitment. Buddy almost had it on his hand. Eight goals, eight 